We're here in the ultralight area at Oshkosh with Larry Neal, who some of our listeners and viewers will know, some may not. Larry has a history back with uh, gyroplanes going back quite a ways. Uh, was involved with the redesign of the Air Command airframe to make it centerline thrust back in the early 1990s, I guess. Is that about right? Larry's company now is called the Butterfly LLC, and its crowning achievement is sitting behind us here, the Super Sky Cycle. Larry, first, thanks for joining us, and what is this thing? It's a uh, rotable rotorcraft or a flying motorcycle. The DMV says it's a flying motorcycle. That's fine with me. All right, now let's let's talk about the DMV for a minute okay. because uh, uh, a lot of things you can build in your garage can be licensed to go on the road. This is true. Uh, did they look at you funny when you said it also flies, or did you not leave out that detail when you uh, didn't even tell them? Because the really the laws on uh, home built motorcycles is it has to have two or three wheels, brakes, lights, and mirrors. So we knew we didn't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Second sentence is some states require turn signals. Then it starts talking about helmet laws. So the laws aren't real strict on home built motorcycles. You can build about anything. Okay, now it's a little different with the home built aircraft. A few more hoops to jump through. Were there any issues there in, in achieving the compromises that the, you needed to do? The two FAA guys that came out were gold. They were actually the high, higher up officials, not just the examiners. They wanted to see the flying motorcycle. And we sat there and laughed, and they agreed you can build anything in experimental. And then when we got done, he says, Would you mind if I took a few pictures of this? And I said, Fine. He said, Well, can you push it out there to the grass? And I says, No, but I'll drive it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the transition from driving to flying. Uh, how long does it take? What's involved? Less than three minutes. There's no wrenches involved. It's all flip lever air valves. It's a little robot. It stands up, squats down by itself. The rotor blades fold out unbelievably easy. And uh, less than three minutes from the time you pull into a field, you're starting your engine up to fly. All right, now, some people toss the word around practical when they're talking about fly drive vehicles. Obviously, there's some pretty serious compromises here. I'm looking at road clearance and a couple other things. This is not meant for a cross-country drive, but you're going to try one. This is made to fly cross-country. Right. You, you fly it 90% of the time, you drive it the last 10%. That's the point. Okay. You, you, this will never be on the interstate. There's no need to be there. We're flying over them, cruising at 70 mile an hour, making them real jealous. Well, now, over on the other side of the uh, event here, we've got the Terrafugia, which is a bunch of MIT engineers, and then there's the switchblade guys who, you know, are trying to raise a gazillion dollars. And yes. you, you've, you've managed to, to trump them both. You've got one actually on the market now that flies and drives. Yes, uh, I applaud all of that all those guys are doing. I just think it's great. Uh, ours is, right now, is more for the bikers or for the pilots that like open air. Mm -hmm. And this is something that really does fit in the garage, and it has a real airplane motor on it. It's dependable. We can put auxiliary tanks, and you can fly 300 miles if you want to. So we can pretty well give a, people a package to fulfill their dreams. The American dream has been to have a flying machine in your garage. We accomplished that with this. What's ahead for the future? I mean, are you taking a breath intellectually now, or are you looking ahead to even more fun projects? Our next step is uh, my niece is running the company then other people run the warehouse part it'll set me free to do r d and we have a company policy we don't talk about anything we don't have off on the shelf but we're going to surprise you here every year with something new well larry we look forward to those surprises and thanks for taking the time thank you very much aero tv is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.